Assalamu alaikum. This is your host, Tanjil Hussain, and I welcome you again today in a new episode. In today's episode, we're going to see how USA dominates the world. And basically, USA dominates the world by deploying its military assets in different geographic locations. And it has deployed different military command forces around the world. And we call these command forces uh, by different names like CENTCOM, Eurocom, Afrocom, etc. And by deploying this military force, USA is capable of force projection anywhere around the world. That means USA can deploy its forces within a very short as possible time in any corner of the world, including space. So for that reason, as you can see in the map, that USA has divided the entire Earth in different geographic location. Like Asia continents, European continent, African continent, Latin America, uh, then North America, Pacific region, etc. USA has uh, divided the entire geographic location of the world and by geographic location, it has deployed its military assets. Now I shall first talk about the first command element that is the United States Central Command, or in short, we call it CENTCOM. CENTCOM was established in 1983, its headquarters in McDill Air Force Base, Tampa, Florida, in USA. Its area of responsibility is included in Middle East. It also includes Egypt in Africa, Central Asia, and parts of South Asia. This command has been the main American presence in the military operations, including the Persian Gulf operations, Desert Storm in 1991, the war in Afghanistan, and the Iraq war from 2003 to 2011. And CENTCOM is America's main effort and it actually guards the American mainland. So central forces are deployed primarily in Afghanistan under Operation Freedom Sentinel and in Iraq and Syria as part of Operation Inherent Resolve since 2014 in supporting and advice and assist roles. Of all the seven American regional unified command combatant commands, CENTCOM is among four that's headquartered outside the area of its operation. The other three being AFRICOM, SOUTHCOM, and CACOM. <laughs> A forward headquarter was established in 2002 at Camp Asailia in Doha, Qatar, which in 2009 transitioned to a forward headquarter at the Al Udaid Air Force Base in Qatar. Presently, the commander of CENTCOM is U.S. Army General Mitchell Kurila. Now we shall talk about the United States Northern Command. United States Northern Command or the NORTHCOM, in short, is established in 2002. Its headquarters in Peterson Space, Air Force Base, Colorado Spring, Colorado, USA. And its area of responsibility is included, uh, includes the territory and the national interests of the United Nations within the continental United States, Puerto Rico, Canada, and Mexico the Bahamas and the air, land, and sea approaches to these areas. 
and the commander of U.S. Northcom is General Glenn David Van Hurt of U.S. Air Force. And about Southern Command, the United States Southern Command of the Southcom was established in 1963. Its headquarters in Doral, Florida, USA. And its area of responsibility includes Central and South America, Caribbean, except US Commonwealth territories and positions. They are territorial waters and for the forced production of US military resources at these locations. US South Como, Southern uh, South Com is also responsible for ensuring the defense of Panama Canal and the Canal area. Presently, US South Com's commander is General Lords J. Richardson of US Army. The next command is US in the Pacific Command, which was previously known as US Pacific Command or US PACOM. This command was established in 1947. It's headquartered in Camp H.M. Smith, Hawaii, USA. And the area of responsibility of US in the PACOM or PACOM, both are same, that includes Indian and Pacific Oceans. And the commander of US in the PACOM is currently Commander Admiral John C. Aquilino of US Navy. Next command is the United Nations uh, US African Command or the AFRICOM. United States African Command or US AFRICOM was established in 2007. Its headquarters is in Kalibarat, Stuttgart, Germany. And its area of responsibility includes Africa, except Egypt, because Egypt is included in CENTCOM's area of responsibility. So the current AFRICOM commander is General Stefan Townsend of US Army. The next command element we are going to discuss is the United States European Command or the UCOM. US UCOM was established in 1952. Its headquarters in Patrick Barrett, Stuttgart, Germany. Its area of responsibility includes a vast area and 51 countries and territories, including Europe, Russia, and Greenland. The commander of the United States UCOM simultaneously serves as the supreme allied commander of the Europe within NATO. So as you can see, the United States European command of the EU command is very important. Presently, the EU command commands commander is General Todd Daniel Walters of United States Air Force. Next comes the United States Strategic Command. United States Strategic Command of the US Stratcom established in 1992. Its headquarters is Offutt Air Force Base, Nebraska, USA. Its responsibility is the strategic deterrence, global strike, and operating the Defense Department's Global Information Grid. It also provides host of capabilities to support the other combatant commands, including integrated missile defense and global command, control, communication, computers, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, in short, as we call it, C4ISR. Currently, the US TRACCOM's commander is Admiral Charles A. Richardson of US Navy. The next command is the United States Space Command, or in short, we call it US Space Com. It was established in 1985. Its headquarters is in Peterson Space Force Base, Colorado, USA. And its responsibility is, is responsible for the operational deployment of space forces that are provided by the 
uniform services of the Department of Defense. Currently, U.S. Space Comms Commander is General James H. Dixon of the U.S. Army. The next comes the U.S. Army Cyber Command. And the United States Cyber Command or Army Cyber in short, established in 2010. Its headquarters is in Fort Gordon, Georgia, USA. And its responsibility is, uh, it is responsible for US Army's single point of contact for the external organization regarding information operations and cyberspace. And the commander of Army Cyber Command is Lieutenant General Maria Barrett. Next comes the United States, United States Army Special Operation Command, or in short, US SOC. It was established in 1989, headquarters in Fort Bragg, North Carolina, USA. And its responsibility is, it is responsible to organize, train, educate men, equip, fund, administer, mobilize, deploy, and sustain Army Special Operation Forces to successfully conduct worldwide special operations. Its current commander is Lieutenant General Jonathan P. Bagra. And that's all regarding the American uh, command system. Thank you for watching.